Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to program one of these MicroTik routers to work with the Mogawai dashboard. So you go to mogawai.com and assuming you've already created an account there, if not click register and create one. Once you do log into that account, and once you've logged into the account you can go to products and buy a single hotspot and it will give you a, a network right here once you get multiples it will list them out I have two of them here so once they appear you can that's going to be the actual link to the dashboard control panel for each network so what we want to do is program a MicroTik router so you, you to get the configuration files for that click on my account and then down here under files click MicroTik config files and then if you don't have Winbox on your computer you can download this one or get the latest copy from Winbox uh, MicroTik's website but it's the Windows application that will communicate with the MicroTik router but grab that and drop it on your desktop and that's what you're going to use to communicate with the MicroTik router here in a minute and then also grab this MicroTik config files dot zip and save that somewhere on your computer where you're going to be able to find it here in a minute too. Once that file is saved, then you can go to wherever you saved it and unzip it. And it's going to have these three config files for the RB750, RB750GL, and RB450G. MicroTik routers and it has a folder also that's just called hotspot so and set that aside then <coughs> if you, you save that Winbox program on your computer on the desktop go ahead and double click it and run it and then up here at the top where it says connect to click this little box to the right of it to let it search and find a device on here and it sees this MAC address for example so select that with username admin no password and then click on connect sometimes it will fail just hit connect again and just hit it a couple times and it will go it just sometimes takes like twice for some reason to connect but that time it went the first time so I just factory resetted this device too. The very first thing you actually want to do is hold down the reset button while you apply power and keep holding the button until all the lights start flashing and that factory resets the device. That puts it in this mode. Then you connect to it with this wind box. And uh, I just did that by connecting the LAN cable directly to port 3 of right in the middle of the MicroTik router and so now I'm into the router just click OK on that box right there click files whatever files are in there just delete them <coughs> just highlight whatever's in there and hit delete just all files gone and then go back over here <coughs> and open your file manager where you've saved that config file and select the backup file for the model router that you're setting up. This is an RB750GL. So I'm going to take that backup file, drag it over and drop it in the files folder of this MicroTik router. Then I'm going to highlight it and then click restore right here. And it says, do you want to restore configuration and reboot? Yes. <clears throat> now it's going to disconnect me from the MicroTik. Router has been disconnected. Okay, fine. So, now the router rebooted, so I'm going to run Winbox again and reconnect again. Like I say, sometimes it just has to go twice. I don't know why. Then open files again and all this stuff is here. Take that hotspot folder and delete it. And then 
take this hotspot folder and copy it over there. And then click on interfaces. Oh, by the way, if for some reason you're running a server different than my AAA one server that this defaults to, you copy this radius.txt file over to your PC, edit the file, change the address to your server address, and drag and drop it back over here. And that's how you change the server address of the router. Other than that, it's fully cloud programmable. That, that tells it what server to check into to get its configuration. But it defaults to the AAA1.mobileye.com. But if you happen to be running a hosted VPS of your own, or, or you know, for some reason it's a different address, it, you would change it in this radius.txt. And you can't edit it in here in the router, so you have to copy it over, edit it, and just with notepad or anything, and then just copy it back over here, drag and drop it, good to go. That changes the whole system's address. Then you just click system and then reboot right there, and it would all apply. So that has the router already configured. So you go over to your dashboard and click on networks and assuming you've already created one or bought one of the $39 single spots or something and created it and then you come here and log into it go back over on the router we need to click interfaces and get the MAC address of ether2 local master make a note of that MAC address right there and we would copy and paste that over here. Go into your dashboard and click nodes, add node, and paste the Mac and so forth in there, which I've already done. And it's right here, this RB750GL. So you fill out this information right here and add the node with the latitude and longitude of where it's going to show up on the map the MAC address, node name, node description and just contact person, email and phone number which are really optional but you just fill that in and click submit and it'll add the node once you then come back to edit the node like whenever it shows up as checking in then all of a sudden it'll have more choices for all the address for the LAN address and subnet mask and default gateway and the IP pool range and DNS and all the network settings. So, but now that this is added, once that router's been up for five minutes, it's going to check in. Once it does check in, it's going to pull down all this configuration each of which is individual to each router now in this system, not global like OpenMesh and RobinMesh where under settings is the global settings for every router on the whole system. With this, the only thing global under settings <coughs> is the walled garden settings and it also shows the login page. You can have a custom login page for each hotspot both for the gateway PC and the Microtix, and then the free trial, which the only the Microtix support that, but the free trial button will let it do, you know, like here's 30 minutes of free trial, and it'll reset in 23 hours and 30 minutes, so that'll give someone a half hour of free time per day, and the bandwidth rate limit is 250k up and 850k down, so that's the only thing global to the system. Now the way it works is each node has its own settings for all of the IP ranges and that sort of thing. But anyway, it should be checking in. In fact, it just did right there. So once that checked in, if you go back and look at these files, they all populated now. I'll say November 2nd, which is correct, but notice all these files 
populated themselves now. So it's working now if you plug in a radio to that and go to a laptop and get on it, you'll see the landing page and everything's working. So that's it. There's no more. That's all you do to configure the router.